So before I get into um, today's video topic, uh, just a little update on what's been going on around here. The Odyssey project is finished now. Uh, right after that, my CRX died. I do have the CRX uh, fixed and going again, but I'm still having an intermittent issue. Um, the next video will be about AN fittings and how I used AN fittings um, and braided line to repair my CRX. And I've taken on another little side project. Uh, my in-laws have a four-wheeler that uh, completely lost power and they were having problems with and they, uh, they need a working four-wheeler on the farm. So I've currently got the motor torn down on that. Um, I think I found the problem with a broken push rod. So hopefully when those parts come in, um, I may do a little video on putting that back together. The channel's been um, doing fairly well. I would really appreciate it if uh, you would subscribe, um, if you appreciate some of the time and effort I put into these videos, and if you can watch the videos all the way through. <laughs> I don't care if they're boring, just let them play, but that helps me out a lot. Uh, and send, send some other people over if, if you think they'd enjoy a channel like mine. Sometimes I don't feel like I fit in with the car community. Um, especially on the import side of things. I'm kind of old school. I think if you're going to build something, tear it all the way down and rebuild it um, the right way from the ground up. In an era of, especially on the import side, everyone wants to bolt on parts um, and call it a build. And every now and then you have someone special that you just meet or they just do something special for you out of the kindness of their heart. And it reminds me of the type of people that originally got me into the car culture. This is the second time now uh, since I've started this channel in a relatively short time that someone from the car community just out of the kindness of their heart has reached out and done something for me. So my buddy Ruben, um, never met the guy, he's a subscriber to the channel. Uh, we've talked back and forth on Instagram a few times. He's uh, kind of an OG Honda guy, um, got out of it for a long time, focused on his family, and now he just picked up an EG Hatch not too long ago. And just kind of, he ran across my channel and said, uh, I inspired him with, you know, myself having a family and everything else, being able to juggle that and kind of have a project car. I inspired him to go out and buy that car and he's kind of getting back into the game and has that fun car to tinker with. And I think a lot of us can relate to having kids and stuff uh, that kind of stuff goes to the back burner and when we're so passionate about that it kind of a piece of us kind of dies with that so I'm sure these days he doesn't have the money and the time to dedicate to it but he said it's just a special thing just to have that fun card kind of tinker with and get back into the sport he's always posting up pictures of really good mainly dark beer and I'm always telling him how good the stuff sounds and out of the kindness of his heart one day he just wanted to send me something. So, what did he send? These two boxes right here. There's a little indication of what it is. Um, he sends me two six packs of his favorite go-to beer. Deschutes, I think is how you say it. Um, Obsidian Stout, that's a good one. I've had that before. And then New Belgium 1554, that's always a pretty solid choice. And the one I'm most excited about came in this, but it's not in this. This one's pretty special. This is the Rogue Rolling Thunder Imperial Stout. It is aged for nine months in whiskey barrels. Uh, and it's a limited quantity, 13.6%. Pretty excited about that one. I'm gonna save that for a special night and probably only drink half the bottle at a time. Yeah, uh, I'm super excited about it. There was one other time on Instagram that uh, a guy that I follow, he had some CRX Hot Wheels and I said, hey, I haven't found any of those in my area. Where'd you find them? And the guy, just randomly says, hey, what's your address? I'll send you one. Doesn't only send me one, he sent me, I think either three or four. You can check back on my Instagram, but blew my mind. You know, a lot of times these days, I don't feel like I fit into the car culture, um, especially on the import side of things. You know, kids these days, they're into buying rare or flashy parts, bolting them onto their cars uh, and it's all about you know bags and low life and expensive wheels and all that um, and I'm just 
not really into that. I like the old school, I like the rat ride guys where they figure out how to fabricate things themselves and make things work. Uh, I come from the old school thought of if you're gonna build a car, tear it all the way down and build it from the ground up, build it to be your own, uh, and actually put in the physical labor into it, do it yourself. That's what makes it special to me. Um, you know, and especially on the import side of things, kids just, I guess they just, they just don't have the dedication and the patience it takes to actually build a car. I feel like I don't really fit in. My car doesn't even get that much attention when I take it places. But my car is not flashy, so it doesn't really grab people's attention. That's not the style these days. It's very subtle. Um, and I also don't feel like I fit in with the hot rod guys because obviously my car doesn't fit into those crowds very well. But I, I just appreciate so much um, the kindness of people like Ruben, uh, and they just, uh, he inspires me and brings excitement for me back to the people in the car community again. Um, Ruben, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I owe you big time. If anyone has any suggestions on what I should do for Ruben uh, to pay him back for this, uh, I'd love to hear some suggestions. Post them down in the comments section. I just wanted to do this video just to say thanks and just to uh, just to show people that uh, that's what's so great about the car community. It's not just the car community, but um, I mean that's pretty common. I think just to want to say thanks out of the kindness of their heart and help somebody out, whether it's sending something or coming over and spending the night um, helping them work on their car, either get it ready for a show or just keep their daily driver on the road so they can get to work the next day. Uh, that's the type of stuff that got me into this and that's what I'm excited about. So anyway, um, I hope Ruben's kind gestures inspire someone else. Uh, he's definitely inspired me to go out of my way to help other people out a little more. He's also inspired me to work harder on this channel. Um, I'm not a big channel. You know, he said he appreciated me returning his messages and all that, but I'm not, I'm not a big channel. I'm not, not even close to big compared to a lot of people on YouTube. Anyway, thanks Ruben. I've been slacking lately and uh, you've inspired me to put a little little more effort into the channel and kind of keep content coming more. That's all I've got for today. Um, uh, do something out of the kindness of your heart to help someone out for no good reason like Ruben did. If you've ever wanted to know um, how AN fittings, you know those hot rod style fittings with all the uh, fancy braided lines and stuff work, um, stick around for my next video. I'm going to show you how I repaired a line on my CRX that you can't buy anymore and I'll kind of walk you through the steps. It's not hard but it's good to know. Stick around for that video. See you then.